What's up? This is Kong from X Faders, and in this video, we're going to discuss how to restore a Windows 10 backup. If you haven't already, take a moment and look at the previous videos in this series. It will help you out and bring you up to speed on everything we've done thus far. But just to quickly recap, uh, we backed up a Windows 10 installation uh, to a Synology NAS, and now we're just walking through the steps on how to restore it on a hard drive that has failed or being replaced. One of the most important steps is to be able to access the boot menu for your PC. So down in the description, I left a link in there that will list out a few of the keystrokes or important keys to be able to get into this boot process as the uh, machine boots up. Now, it doesn't matter which type of uh, recovery tool that you use, whether it be USB or CD, but just make sure it is plugged in and ready to go before you uh, go any further with this process. For my instance, I actually use the USB storage device and use the media creation tool from the Windows 10 website to create a recovery uh, USB stick. So I'll go down and select USB storage uh, within these options. The machine will boot up as if it was a normal boot process, but what it'll actually do is take you to the installation screen. So once the screen moves on, you'll see that the next step is to choose um, next here as far as the install language and all that stuff is pretty much default. So go ahead and hit next. And then instead of hitting install now, we're gonna click on repair your computer. From this step here, we'll go ahead and click on troubleshoot. And next up, we're gonna choose system image recovery. Now within this window is looking on your system at the moment to see if there's already a system image up there. We'll click cancel here because we're not loading it from the uh, current hard drive. And you will go ahead and click next here. And where it says advanced, you'll go ahead and click on that to be able to load an image from the network. So we'll click search for a system image on the network. All right, and it's just like you know that it's going to be connecting to the network. So just make sure you have your Ethernet cable plugged in before you start. And now it's asking for the share in which the image backup is located. So we're entering that share uh, on the NAS. And once you hit OK here, it's going to ask for the username and password for that share. Now, it's important that when you're entering the US, uh, I'm sorry, the username, make sure that you enter in the name of the, um, the store. So it's just XFAD underscore NAS, which is the name of the Synology, followed by a backslash and the username. So like I said before, it's very important that you enter in the name of the device slash the username to be able to access that uh, network store. Once you've entered everything correctly, just use your down arrow to select OK. It will search and actually find your backup on the network attached storage. And once you click on that backup, next will become available. And this here is just giving you a little bit more information about that backup. So click the uh, that backup again and hit next. This next option allows you to format and repartition your disk if you need it. Um, but if, if everything is already set up properly, you can just go ahead and hit next. In my current install and setup, I don't need to restore anything at the moment. So I'll go ahead and hit next. And this is the last check uh, before you proceed. So once you hit finish, it will start that restore. If you did need to go back and actually format the drive, that's no problem. So I'll jump back in there. And once you check the box, you can also choose to exclude disk. So right now the USB flash drive is currently in, uh, plugged into the machine as well as the internal hard drive. So let's say that you had additional drives connected to the machine. You might want to pop in here real quick first to make sure you exclude those so it doesn't create any weird partitions or end up overriding anything that you have on the other drives. Hopefully you won't have any issues and uh, you were able to follow through this whole series to be able to back up and restore your Windows 10 machine in the event of a failure. If you have any questions, definitely leave me something down there in the comment section. I'll try my best to help you out as soon as possible. But if not, that's all I have. So please like, share and subscribe and check us out on the website at www.xfaders.com.